It's not easy keeping these ancient turbines going. I wish more people realized that. Oh, hello there. Uh, are you here about the brownouts? That's usually the only reason people come up here to talk to me, since I'm the power system manager here. Of course you did. Uh, that's, that's okay. It, it's a problem here. Citizens and visitors alike have a right to know what's going on and when to expect a fix. Problem is, I don't know how long we'll have to deal with this because I'm needed here to oversee the whole system and we don't currently have anyone available to go out and solve the issue at the moment. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm a little new to the job and I'll admit I'm struggling a little bit. I could use some help. Oh! Excellent! Then you must know how this old power system machinery can get crusted over with ice from time to time. That's what's causing these brownouts. Think you can take a laser cutter and break up the ice for us? Oh, thank you. I, I guess I'm lucky you showed up then. Just be careful not to hurt yourself or the equipment. I'll continue to monitor things from here. Careful not to point that thing at me. Glad you're helping. Great! I just saw the readings and everything looks good. Thank you. I hope it wasn't too much of a pain in the butt. Hi. Uh, me? I guess? My therapist told me I should try recording notes to myself as a way to, um, cope with this drastic life change. I guess the goal is to look back on it later and see progress. Anyway, I've been living here 
in New Homestead for, what, uh, three months now? And it hasn't been easy. The locals are a little wary of people coming in from the outside, but they know they need me here because their previous power systems manager died. Got stuck out in the cold with a suit puncture. Alcohol may have been involved. Remind me not to make that same mistake. Where was I? Uh-oh. Um, so, I decided to go all in and change my family name to show these people I'm serious about their home. It's caused some drama with my parents, but ultimately, they understand. And to be honest, I kind of like it. I've always loved the history of this place, from its inception as an outpost searching for life, to researching how to build colonies on harsh worlds, and now this as a boring living history museum. Well, let's keep it's it that really... way. Oh, crap. The, the lights are struggling to stay on again. Well, back to fixing this place. Talk to you. Me. <laughs> Later. Don't stick. Feel free to look around, but don't touch. I'm glad they have a chunks here. Welcome Hello there. Welcome to the new Homestead Chunks. We've got all your Chunks favorites, Simba. Well, almost all of them. Sadly, we're out of the special sauce. I know, I know. But everything else is still that great Chunks food you know and love. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? If I'm completely honest, it is. People are always saying how this Chunks can't compare to the real deal. And I just know it's because we never had that mouth-watering sauce. I've been in contact with some of the other restaurants out there, and they'll give me some. But they say they can't afford to send it, and I don't have a ship, so what am I to do? Wait, for real? You do that. You're not pulling my leg. Oh, yeah, right! I actually just got a message back from another Chunks before you got here, and they got a case ready to go for me. Just tell them you're there to pick it up for me, and it should be good to go. Thanks. Ooh, I can't wait until it's time to eat. I'm going to use our discount to get a bunch of different Chunks and mix them all up, try some new flavor profiles. Why, hello there! I'm Bill Starsap of Starsap Tours. Let me tell you, this place is full of history and interesting facts. For instance, did you know that New Homestead was one of the first colonies established outside of Earth? It's been populated in some capacity for over 200 years. Yes, siree! And that's not science fiction, it's science fact. There's a lot more history where that came from. So what do you say? I've got an opening. I could take you on a tour right now if you'd like. Excellent! You won't regret it! My tours are one of a kind! <laughs> Now, there's just the matter of price. The going rate for a genuine Star Sap tour is only 100 credits. Great! Let's get this show on the road, eh? All right! So, 
This is New Homestead's main concourse. This underground area didn't exist when the original outpost base was finished in 2130. Follow me. We'll come back here by the end of the tour and talk about the museum collection. But first, let's go see where people live. Now remember, these people aren't actors. They actually live here, so try to be respectful of that. While the original inhabitants of the Titan Astro Base lived in pods like you saw up above, they transitioned down here when this section of the base was finished in 2144. Space is extremely limited, so you'll notice some overflow here, but more residences also exist on lower levels, which are inaccessible to tours. I'll stop at each of our destinations if you want to look around, or if you have any questions for me. Have any questions so far? Alrighty, we'll be taking the residential elevator to the far area on the surface level. This way, please. Let's leave these good people alone for now and go check out the farms. Follow me up the elevator. <laughs> Homestead's farms are the beating heart of the colony. Without them, the original outpost would have shriveled and died. These pods are sealed and climate controlled, the perfect environment for growing the hydroponic if you'll vegetation me, I'm needed for survival talk. in the early days of the colony. Hello. Don't mind me. I love talking with off-worlders like you. Any questions about the farms? Onward it is! <laughs> we'll be stopping by the Brown Horse Tavern later in the tour, which uses many of these locally sort. But for now, it's just a short way to our... So, the old bio labs are just on the other side of this building, believe it or not. We'll step on through the hallway there. They're not in use anymore, but the colony has faithfully recreated them as a historical exhibit, true to the original purpose of the Titan Astro Base. Sadly, they're undergoing some light renovation. Otherwise, there'd be interactive activities for kids to learn about how they used to search for microbial life here. Pardon the dust, but I can still answer some questions about the old Titan Astrobase Biolabs. You got it. On to our next stop. Next, we'll be heading outside, so make sure to check those seals on your suit because it's a bit chilly out there. <laughs> We're going out into the frozen wastes of Titan to see what powers this planet. Watch your step outside, by the way. The ice can be slippery if you're not careful. The goal is to keep people out of Dr. Lakota's infirmary. was much more crude then. But crude or not, it was that technology that sustained the old Astro Base. And it might surprise you to learn that the same technology is still working today.
The interesting thing about this old colony is that it's mostly powered by clean, renewable energy. You can see one of the methods used on the horizon up ahead. That's right, New Homestead's famous wind farms. This spot was chosen for the colony in part because of its constant winds. These turbines have been integral to the colony's function since its establishment as a cheap, mostly reliable source of electricity. So, let's talk about wind power, shall we? You're the boss. Let's go! Moving right along, we're going to learn about Titan's great natural resources. Titan is rich with hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. Surely you saw huge pools of the stuff on your descent into New Homestead. I like to think they add to the natural beauty of this world. Oh, of course, stay away from them because, like anything beautiful, they can be dangerous. Just like my last ex-wife's pet. <laughs> she had this gorgeous, oh, I don't know what you'd call it. Preacher! <laughs> the guy that sold it to her couldn't tell her what it was or where it was from. I don't think it was even a legal sell, to be honest. The thing was very easy on the eyes. Feathers, all the colors of the rainbow. Nasty bite, though. Wound up in the hospital and almost lost my hand. Still not enough for her to get rid of the dang thing. <laughs> anyway, there's a reason she's my ex-wife. But and. Enough about me! <laughs> we were talking about methane and other resources, right? Hey, can you believe it? Back in the 20th century on Earth, they used to fight wars over natural resources like this and petroleum. They had this whole moon here basically made of hydrocarbons in their own backyard. They just couldn't get to it. Incredible how far we've come. New Homestead is home to one of the oldest and largest methane processing plants in the settled systems. Every year, UC engineers go through a painstaking, month-long maintenance process. That's how this place has remained operational as long as it has. I'm not going to take you too close to the machinery, liability and all, but I can still answer questions. Questions? Fire away! <laughs> Okie dokie, Artichokey. There will be time for more later anyway. So, this next stop is a bit of an interesting one. I only recently made it part of the tour. Fun fact, it's also the only natural landmark on the tour. What we're about to see is a glacial spire we affectionately call Emir's Horn. This colis used to be named after a character in a popular fantasy novel, but it was changed a couple hundred years ago to avoid any potential litigation. Now, what's a colis, you might say? Colis derives from the Latin word for hill, and scientists only gave names to groups of hills on a planet's surface. So in reality, the term you hear more often is the plural, colis. You probably don't hear it very often where you're from because it was usually a term reserved for unexplored planets that they didn't have the technology to describe what they were seeing firsthand. Because of that, the term is much more common in the solar system, but you may still hear it occasionally in reference to uncharted worlds. This planet's full of them, though, and they like to preserve that history here. So here it is, Emir's. Excellent. On to the next stop then. So we're gonna head back inside through the methane processing plant. Try not to touch anything on your way. We want to make sure to respect Dr. Lakota's wishes to be safer around here. 